I gotta set the, the face down at 45 degree angle. Get my stance shoulder width, little flex in my knees. Make sure my left arm is strong enough. Oh, but that's locking up my shoulder, so I gotta soften my shoulder. Make sure my shoulders are are square. I gotta keep my left arm straight. Okay, don't sway. So lock my right leg. I'm gonna keep my head down. Are you kidding me? Welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf, and I hope you're not this person. Now, we've all fallen victim to this once or twice in our golfing career where we're trying to think our way through the golf swing. I can tell you that is a road to disaster. So what usually actually ends up happening is we have so many swing thoughts. What I can tell you is that the golf swing is only a second and a half or two seconds, so all that stuff that I just went through, none of that's even going to be possible. Eventually what we end up doing is we get to our, all of our swing thoughts and we just swing because we want to get it over with. We have to learn how to stop freezing over the golf ball. We're driving ourselves crazy. We're driving our playing partners crazy. What ends up happening is that we have so many of these thoughts. We, we're causing us so much anxiety and now it's going to come out in our swing. So if our mind has tension in it, our swing's going to have tension in it. And that's no way to play any sport, especially the game of golf. And that can be exhausting through 18 holes of that for you and your playing partner. So let's try to figure out what we can do to get through this round and get through this shot, you know, with, without making everyone around us nuts. So the first thing I will tell you is that we have to play with pitchers and feel, not swing thoughts. Unfortunately, my job consists of looking at positions and correcting positions, but I'm trying to do that through motion. So I'm trying to get the motion to produce the position, not vice versa. Not the position will not produce a motion. So next time you're out on the golf course, we need to find a pre-shot routine and play again with the swing feel, not seven different swing thoughts. It will never work out, I promise you. So here I've got lined up. I've got my aiming stick down so I know where I'm going. And now you'll notice there's a red stick in front of me. So I've kind of separated the two. This is my play box over here, and this is my think box over here. We're trying to set up an order in which we can play golf, free our mind, and have the best possible situation where we make a practice or rehearsal swing. So when we get over the golf ball, we've got an idea of the feel we want to produce so we can react to our target. That's what we want to do. It's a target game. Our eyes are going to perceive the target, our mind creates a picture, and our body's going to react to that. There's no way that's going to happen if I'm over the golf ball and I'm going through my 17 point checklist. Again, all we're going to do is try to get the shot over with. So what happens in my think box? So over here in my think box will be my yardage, what kind of shot I'm going to play. I'm trying to visualize what kind of ball flight I want and then I'm gonna produce a swing or a motion. We're trying to feel like it's one motion, not seven different mechanical thoughts, to produce the desired ball flight. Now the one thing that I encourage you to do is get something that is you know, comfortable or unique to you and stick with it. We do that every single time. So I'll, I'll kind of manage you through what I do. After I've gone through my yardage, I have the right club, so this pin here is back right, so I'd like to play more towards the center and try to hit a, a little cut. If it doesn't cut, fine, I'm still in the center of the green. But in my play box, I'm going to produce a practice swing or rehearsal swing. So whatever I'm going to do at the golf ball, I already have it in my head here. So I'll make some swings. So these are rehearsal swings. So now they're not different thoughts once I get over the golf ball, okay? Now I've, I'm gonna take whatever I just did right there, I already have it, and I'm gonna put it on the golf ball and react to my target now. Get my face ready.
So with that, it took no brain power for me to hit that shot. I already had the feeling. I already had what I wanted to do with the golf ball. I already had the ball flight and shot in mind. I produced a practice or rehearsal swing. So when I got up to the golf ball, all I had to do is, is aim and just get the rehearsal swing out into the golf ball. So hopefully that makes sense and we'll see you on the golf course. Like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf, for all tips on golf. Thank you.